for his disability, KFC humiliate ex-governor Benga Dana's son at Lagos Airport. To be disabled in Nigeria is to be undesirable, unwelcome, and unaccepted. Those were the exact words of Adebola Daniel, the son of former Ogun State Governor Benga Daniel and wheelchair user, while detaining the inhumane treatment he got at the Lagos branch of Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC, a fast food restaurant, on Wednesday. Daniel, who took to his ex platform to share his experience said that because of his disability he was made to feel less than human like a guard dog not allowed into any house being disabled often rose over my spirit leaving behind a trail of shattered dignity and forgotten humanity nowhere more so than in nigeria he wrote on x to be a disabled in Nigeria is to be undesirable, or unwelcome, and unaccepted. As I've said before, it is a lonely, scary, and isolated place. As I've, okay, never has this been more true than it has ever been today, where I face the worst sort of public humiliation that I've ever experienced. To think that this happened at an international brand, KFC, has an international airport, Motala Mohammed Airport, Lagos, is unthinkable, he said. He explained that after all the necessary documentation has been conducted at the airport ahead of his Virgin Atlantic flight to London, he decided to pass the time alongside his wife and siblings at the KFC restaurant while waiting for the flight. However, he was in for a shock as the female manager at the restaurant humiliated him saying wheelchair and users were not permitted on the premises of KFC. She also demanded that they leave immediately, according to Daniel. He wrote, years ago, after all security and immigration formalities have been completed, I would normally go to the Oasis Lounge to wait for my flight. For the past three years, the lift to the lodge has been out of service, so I've often found solace in another establishment. Sometimes lounges, sometimes restaurants such as KFC. Today, I chose KFC. What a colossal mistake. I entered the restaurant with four other travel companions consisting of my brothers and wife. The security personnel at AFC, KFC, Samuel, greeted me by name as I've been there multiple times. Just as we were about to sit, the lady at the teal, who was apparently the manager, called out loudly, No wheelchairs allowed. Our group paused in confusion be before my brother, Taiwo, asked what she meant. She refused to listen to reason and stood her ground that at the KFC Moritala Mohammed branch, wheelchair and wheelchair users of all shapes and sizes were not permitted on the premises and that we should leave immediately. Then I said that despite efforts from the other people at the restaurant to wade into the situation, the lady maintained that KFC was a vow to wheelchairs on its premises. My siblings and wife became instantly irate and proceeded to debate her position with her, ultimately culminating in raised voices and strong verbal protest. If there is one thing I hate more than anything in this life is to create a scene, I detest it. I do not like to draw attention to myself and as such, I began pleading with my people that we should just leave, said Daniel. My wife took some video footage and my brothers took some pictures. There were at least five other witnesses at the scene who tried to intervene as things unfolded. Eventually, our party departed to another lounge upset and quiet, frightfully pissed off. Normally, I would let these things slide, but not today. When Kama heads prevailed, my wife and brother, Maiwa went back and under the guise of buying some food and while audio recording, she questioned the lady again and the lady retreated the position that a business does not allow wheelchairs into their premises. The manager, according to Daniel, mentioned that KFC was strict about its no wheelchairs allowed rule. For Daniel, this sort of prejudice rule brings to bear similar discriminatory practices in history. She stated that although she recently just transferred to that branch, it is something that has been drummed into them. No wheelchairs allowed. It harkens back to dark periods in recent history. No wheelchairs allowed. No colorets allowed. No blacks allowed, he said. Today I felt less than human, like a guard dog, not allowed into the house, lonely and isolated. I will continue to escalate this exponentially until I get a reasonable solution and there is no stopping me. You cannot treat people this way. 
the approximately 27 million Nigerians living with some form of disability. That is over 13% of the country. One in six people on the planet are disabled. You must not treat people this way. So my question to KFC is simple. Does this represent your approach to disabled customers? Or will you be looking into this? Am I not human enough for KFC? FIG email KFC Nigeria regarding this issue, but no response has been received. A message sent to the restaurant via Instagram is also yet to yield a response. You know, do okay now. You know, do okay. This is very, very bad. You know, it is sad. Every disabled person know they like attention to themselves. They don't like saying, oh, King Fewala, you understand? Because at the end of the day, you know, people people are ready to them. People are not already, as in, there is this, you know, but what, what is this one doing here? You understand? Kind of attitude. But it is, how when you stalk them now, it is bad enough that, oh, they only the sight of them. Uh, some people don't, they, uh, you know, and some don't, don't like, of course, majority of them do not like that pity, pity, whatever. But for this to happen, it doesn't make sense now. It doesn't make sense at all, at all. You get. It doesn't make sense. They don't try. And for him to come outside to say this, all the while, let's say again, a one kind, peaceful, easy going person. Since when they know they allow K uh, Richard, you know, so if this thing never happened to you, you know, not have painful. This thing is actually really painful. Yeah. And like she said, he said, it's like he's a regular customer. So for this to even happen to him or more, no, no, no. I think I can imagine how, I can only imagine how he's feeling. You understand? I can only imagine how he's feeling. If this report is true, then KFC does not deserve to keep his customers. And this report should be shared as much as possible to expose the barbarity of the organization. In civilized climes, handicapped individuals are always treated with fastidious consideration and purity treatment. That is very bad. Disabled are not allowed to eat with their own money, or are they not humans as any other human? This is a big embarrassment to humanity and must be checked and stopped. You know, it makes sense. No way chose a lot. What, what, did she really give any reason? How did she come out and say, oh, this particular no way allows? Now, see when they bring them all. They started being serious about it too. Oh, this is the this is what backed it too. You understand? From here, nothing, nothing. It not make sense at all. The lady no try. You know, try make him put himself for that people's shoes. Most especially for the man's shoes. Like I said, for people who be saying when they talk, if they talk like this, ah, they, they matter, they go drag them on until they reach where the team won't reach. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for. Still need to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy.